Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to make your own podcast intro and I'm also going to show you some basics of audio editing. I'm going to be using a software program called Audacity. I love this program. It is free. You can find it just by doing a Google search for Audacity free download and I think it is every bit as good as the professional audio editing software that you can find out there. So I highly recommend it. Okay, first I'm going to start off by importing some music. So I'm going to go up to File, I'm going to go to Import, and I'm going to choose a music file that I already have saved on my computer. Now keep in mind that you of course want to only use music that you have the rights to, so um, don't you know get into any trouble with copyright infringement. So this piece of audio I actually do not have the rights to but it works well for my demo so I'm just gonna use this file and so you can see that I now have the music opened up in Audacity you can use the little magnifying glass right here to zoom in and to see more closely it's very easy to pick out you know a different part of audio whether it be music or someone speaking and you want to edit out a part you can very quickly and easily see where there are differing levels of audio because it's smaller on your screen and where there are pauses so anywhere there's a flat line that's basically dead air and so what I'm gonna do is um, I'll give you a quick listen to this you can hit spacebar on your keyboard or you can hit play to start this file and I hit the, the keyboard uh, spacebar again to go back and just stop that and drive the cursor back but basically this song that I've selected has a little bit of an intro that's almost like crickets and that is something I don't really want to use for my intro and so I'm gonna delete that out of there and so the way that I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna take my cursor have to take it off of the magnifying glass so go up here go to selection tool um, one of the things that I'm reminded of as I'm doing this if you ever have a hard time and you can't find like an, an option that you were expecting you know from up here on top or through keyboard functions sometimes you just have to make sure that you're in a stopped mode if you're in a play mode or a pause mode then you won't have all of the options so kind of two things there Make sure you're on the selection tool up here and make sure that you have stopped the audio so that you can have the, the full suite of tools and features that you need. So all I'm going to do here is click my cursor where I want it to be and just drag. So you can use your mouse, just click and drag and I've highlighted this section. And I just hit delete on my keyboard. Very simple. Now I've taken out that very first part of the audio so that now when I start at the beginning it's gonna play right from that music instead of the crickets very simple now this podcast intro that I'm making it's basically gonna have three parts it's gonna have the music which I have open and it's gonna have a voiceover and it's gonna have a little sound effect and so I'll show you how to to do that uh, basically though, I want the music to play for a little bit, then I want it to fade out. I wanted to put my voice over it and then, you know, fully fade it out and, and put a little sound effect on there. So, at this point, I'm going to record my voice on a separate file. So in Audacity, I'm just going to go File, New. What's cool about Audacity, one of the things I really like, is you can record anything that comes through your computer. You can record the audio. So that could be, you know, a little sound effect, it could be music, it could be anything. So I just hit record up here, and I'm going to go out and open up a file that I've already recorded. So it's just my voice. And I actually just recorded this on my phone, so nice and easy. Use your phone, the recording quality is decent. Um, I put it on my phone, then I've opened this file on my computer. So when I hit play, Audacity will record whatever audio plays through the computer. Welcome to my podcast starring me.
All right. Nice and silly Welcome and easy. Welcome to my podcast starring me. <laughs> and there it played twice. So I can see very quickly in my Audacity file where my audio is. It's just right there. That's my voice. Uh, everything else that's, you know, just that flat line again, that's just dead air. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it on top of the music. So I like keyboard functions, but you can also, you know, use the functions up here for edit copy, edit paste. Um, you know, on your keyboard, it's control C uh, for Windows users. So whatever you prefer, but this, uh, you know, this software is pretty easy. So I'm going to add a track. So I go up to track, add new. I'll do a new stereo track and it adds a track for me. Now I'm just going to paste it. So for right now, I'm just putting it wherever. Okay, now you can see that that is, um, you know, a little too loud with the music. You want it to kind of start with the music, fade the music down a little bit, have your voice over, and then fade the music out completely. Uh, it's also probably a little too close to where they start singing in the song. So I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to delete some of this dead air from the voice track. So I'm just going to highlight that. I'm going to hit delete. I've basically just moved my voice up on the timeline. And again, all I'm doing is highlighting, click and drag with the mouse, and then um, I'm just moving the uh, audio where I need it on the timeline. You can also do the same thing if you need to add more time. So if I've decided, oh, I, I actually want a little bit more space in there. You can highlight some of the dead air and just copy and paste. So now you've seen you know how you can kind of move that track, move that audio along in your timeline so you get it exactly where you want it. All right. Welcome to my podcast starring me. All right. So, I can see exactly where this um audio begins for my voice. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to, you know, take this um, audio down a little bit. So let's just highlight that much. You can go into effect, you can go into amplify. What's cool about this too is it automatically will amplify it. If you just choose OK at this point, it will automatically amplify what you've selected to what is what I would call the right level. So if you're doing a bunch of different songs or something like that, and some of them, you know, record low, some of them record high, you want to get them all at the same level so that if you burn it to a CD or something, you're not constantly turning the volume up and down. It's all consistent. So the amplification feature automatically chooses what you need to have it at if you're just doing kind of what I'll call normal. But now for my exercise, I actually want it to be a little lower. I want it to be a little bit quiet. So I'm going to bump it down to like negative eight. You can see how that changed the audio for me. Welcome to my podcast starring me. Okay, now it's not too bad. Um, you probably want to do some kind of fade in, fade out types of things on each side so it's not quite so dramatic. So this is something you can just kind of play around with. But if you select those little pieces that kind of lead in and out to the audio that you've um, adjusted, you know, that you can just go in, you can do fade in, you can fade out, um, you can do an echo, um, you can do a crossfade, and you can, you can see all the different things that you can do to play around with this. So let's see. I am going to choose, I'm going to choose crossfade out on this one. I'm going to choose crossfade in on the end of it and see what that does. And of course you can always do multiple levels of undo if something doesn't quite work for you. So I'll do crossfade out. Just going to see how that goes. Welcome to my podcast starring me. 
So it's not perfect. I'm not going to spend a ton of time working on it um, just because of, you know, the demo and, and kind of for timing. I think you kind of get the point of how this works, though. You want to fade it out to a certain level, fade it back up to a certain level. You want to line your audio up, your voice file up with the part that is lower and then kick it back in. So that's how that's going to work. I'm going to add um, a little applause too, just to kind of show you, you know, one more feature of this. So again, I go into new, file new, hit record, and I'm just going to pull up um, a sound effect from YouTube. So you can find, of course, just about everything on YouTube. And I think that I'm going to open a new window here. <clears throat> Bear with me one second. A little bit slow here, sorry. All right, I'm going to do applause sound effect. I'm going to take this one. Okay, so I've just recorded that audio onto my computer. <clears throat> and again, you can see very easily where the audio is. Click highlight it, copy it, open up your other one. Add a new track. So again, I go tracks, add new, I choose stereo. Gonna open a new one. And I'm just gonna put it right there. So I'm basically just going to have a little music, my intro, and some applause. Way to go. And I'm going to pull this music down a little bit too. So let's see how this is all sounding. Welcome to my podcast starring me. So you can see, you know, this isn't perfect the way that I have it. I would, I would probably mess around with it quite a bit more. Um, but I'm hoping to give you kind of the general gist of how to use Audacity. One of the other tools that I like, you know, you can put your cursor in place. You go up to edit and you can do a select, select to track start to cursor or to the end. So if I do end, it just highlights everything at the end from the cursor where I'm at to the end. And so I can just boom, delete the rest of it. I can do a fade out. So again, highlight it, go in and do a fade out. I can make, you know, maybe the music I think is a little strong in the beginning. I could take, again, some of that down uh, with Amplified. It just, even though it says Amplify, obviously you can de-amplify too. You just pull it to a number below negative. Let me give it a listen. Welcome to my podcast starring me. Okay, and so, you know, you can make the fade out less dramatic, you know, slower, if you will, by highlighting a bigger piece. You do fade out. Now it's going to be a more gradual fade. Uh, you can go in again with your magnifying glass and really zoom in so you can really see all the pieces. You can go in and clip out uh, like the little pieces of silence. So, especially sometimes as you're manipulating these things, um, your manipulation may end up in like a little pop or, you know, a little um, audible pause just because of the nature of what you're doing. And so if you go in there 
you can really zoom in and tighten it up and remove all the pops, remove all of the pauses. Welcome to my podcast starring me. So, again, as I said, you could certainly spend more time, you know, make this more perfect than I have it right now. But for the purposes of the demo, I hope that that helps. You know, some other fun uh, effects that are in here. You have the echo, which is cool. Um, a lot of different, you know, change speeds. You can kind of make your, your voice higher or lower by changing the speed, changing the tempo, those sort of things. So I hope that that helps. And please subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching.